Hey, so I wanted to do a conspiracy theory video because I have a, a conspiracy theory and it has to do with weather modification, geoengineering, and, and such. So, basically there's something out there called ice nucleation, which is the formation of first water droplets and then depending on the altitude um, and wind patterns, etc., uh, ice particles um, through ionization, right? So you have, what ionization means is basically you pump, you're, you're changing the electric state of a, of a chemical, right? So you're adding or removing an electron by force. And oftentimes this is achieved uh, with a catalyst, um, something to uh, either accelerate or, or uh, cause the reaction, usually a, a metal of some type. Um, but the idea is that when you remove an electron from uh, a chemical, uh, it'll cause a chemical reaction. And oftentimes that's it binding with a, another chemical in the environment to form something else. And if you bind enough stuff together, uh, it starts to look like a droplet, especially if the other stuff in the atmosphere is water molecules. So that's ice nucleation in a nutshell. There's lots of roads, uh, but they all essentially do the, the same thing in principle. Um, so that's not so much a conspiracy theory, but here's the, the worst case scenario, I would say, of that technology or that um, yeah, you call it technology. Um, so the worst case scenario in that situation is the use of uh, nuclear isotopes to cause that reaction, right? So you have some sort of um, highly enriched plutonium or something like that atomized in a gas and uh, that triggering uh, chemical reactions in the atmosphere that cause molecules to bind together and fall out of the atmosphere. Right? So that is uh, probably the most, the easiest way uh, in the worst way to uh, make it rain, so to speak. Um, so the, the fastest, cheapest, dirtiest way to achieve that would be a nuclear war, but it's not the only way. Um, you could release gas, uh, you could um, send planes up and the reason that you might do that is because of the energy density in the material you're dispersing. In other words, it's highly effective for the amount of mass that you have to transport up there. The downside would be that it is, uh, it is visible, right? So uh, NASA could basically see you doing it. Uh, you know, the, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission could probably see, I don't know if they have active satellites themselves, I'm sure they have access. So I'm, you know, it's, they could, it, it's visible. But here's where a conspiracy theory becomes a possibility. It's not visible to the citizens. We're at the mercy, oftentimes, of government agencies telling us we're in danger, but
but if the government agencies are the ones telling us, are the ones putting us in danger, why would they tell us? So that's my conspiracy theory because it's plausible and it's lazy, <laughs> honestly. Um, yeah, so that's that's my conspiracy theory for the day. That the um, easiest way to cloud seed is through ice nucleation. The easiest way to uh, initiate ice nucleation is with uh, radioactive material and the only people who would warn us about the the threat of uh, radioactive material raining down on us would be the people potentially doing it so yeah that's it my conspiracy theory of the day <laughs>